let's talk about rod holders and why you may want to use a commercial rod holder that straps to your bike instead of one that you put on a milk crate. Stay tuned. We all love do-it-yourself solutions and using PVC to create rod holders strapped to a milk crate is a very popular one. But I can think of a couple reasons why you may not want to do this. The first one is, is that where you live, like in Australia, PVC may be tremendously expensive. The second is, you may not want to just hassle with buying a big piece of PVC and cutting it out to fit the milk crates. That's when you need to start looking at a commercial rod holder solution for your bike. And I'm going to show some pros and cons on this one in this video. But probably the most compelling reason why you wouldn't want to use rod holders on a milk crate, or even a milk crate at all, is the, it impacts the ease on which you can get on and off the bike. Let me show you. Let's use my freshwater milk crate configuration as the example. Note that the milk crate, of course, goes on your back rack, but now to get on the bike, you really have to raise your leg high to flop it over the milk crate, or you have to go over the center. And for many people, that is kind of a non-starter. So with a commercial solution, your rods are going to strap on down here on your bike. And you may say, well, Steve, you know, once I, you put that rod in the rod holder, you've still got the same problem of getting on. Well, not exactly, because what you would do is you would just lean the rod holder up against your handlebars, swing your leg over to get on the bike, and then once this is mounted, it's easy enough to grab the rod and pop it in the rod holder. And getting off is just the reverse. So let's talk about the installation and the pros and cons of this particular rod holder. The manufacturer of this rod holder recommends that the holder be installed on the left side of the bike. And you can look at the right side and see exactly why that is the best solution. You don't really want the rod holder here with your chain, your derailleur, and everything else over here on this side. Because you're going to want to get at this if it pops off, or you're going to want to do maintenance. So let's flip the bike around, and I'll talk about installing this on the right-hand side. Because there is an issue you need to be aware of, and a slight modification you need to, you need to make depending on whether you reel with your right or your left hand. The rod holder is intended to go between these two bars right here, although if you do have a rear rack, it's easy enough to install up there as well. To install this is simple. You're just going to take the appropriate size clamp, mount it to the bar, and then screw on the unit through here and then zip tie down below. So the key thing you have to understand when mounting this is, do you reel with your left hand or your right hand? Note that I'm a left-handed reeler, and that means my hand, reel handle is going to be pointed in towards the bike. So I'm going to want to be careful that I mount this to make sure that I've got plenty of clearance between the handle and my, uh, my wheel. I can mount it up here on my rear rack and I'll have plenty of clearance between the wheel. But if you don't like that, if you think that's risky, then the manufacturer says all you have to do is remove the four screws that are holding these two rod tubes in place, reverse them, and now you won't have that issue because the handle will be pointed outward. Now since I really don't like the fact that I'm too so close to my wheels here. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you what the result is. I completed the reversal, basically just unscrewing these, turning them upside down. One pro tip is take them both off and then put this, this one on first, because otherwise you'll have a hard time uh, getting at this nut to both remove it and tighten it. Now, this can go on, and my rod that I reel with my left left hand is pointing out away and I won't have an issue. I reverse the two rod tubes to make the handle point to the outside, but note that if I mount it on the left side 
of the bike, my pedal is going to hit my rod. So if you want the handle pointing out, you need to mount this to the right side of your bike and accept the fact that it might make doing maintenance on the chain a little bit difficult. So I take my clamp here, I make sure I'm not interfering with my shifting cable. If there's room for that to work. I'm just going to mount this like this, making sure that my rods do not interfere with the back of my seat. Mounting is as simple as putting the bolt through, running it through the clamp, screwing down the nut. Once I have this in the right place, I can tighten this down, and then you take one of the zip ties and you're going to screw the bottom. Now, you can see that when your rod is installed, the handle is pointing out. But, you know, if you have a rear rack, I would recommend not having it in the way of your shifting cable, and instead mount it over here to this part of the rack. If you install it on the left side of your bike, you need to do one additional step. As you can see, all the attachment points are down here on the bottom, so you really need a longer zip tie to attach it to your rack, and that's going to keep this from flopping down. Then your rods are good to go, and you have no risk of interfering with your chain or your shifter. So for a rack mounted solution, go with the left hand side. If all the issues of mounting this in the rear concern you and you don't have a rear rack to mount it to, you can always mount it to your front wheel. One issue you may run into when mounting it to your front fork is that the large clamp isn't large enough. And so and that's the case for me. So I've gotten a little bit of a longer bolt and I'm gonna use that to span the gap. Very simple installation. Once you have the bolt in, zip tie it to the bottom, but before you tighten down the bolt, adjust it left and right a little bit to ensure that the rod doesn't hit any of your shifters or interfere with anything else you have on the handlebar. Now the only downside to doing this is that when you turn your wheel, the rods are going to hit the body of your bike at some point. So. You need to be aware of that, that you're limiting your turning radius if you install them in the front. That's pretty much it in terms of all the installation options you have with this commercial rod holder. Of course, if you have saddlebags, you're going to need to lose those, but that's replaced easily enough with a backpack with all your gear in it. I tell you, it makes it a little more complex if you reel with your left hand, if you're a right-handed reeler, you know, a lot of the issues we had to walk through wouldn't be germane. But a simple reversal of the, the tubes and everything is good to go. Ideally, mount it to a rear rack and that minimizes all the issues I discussed earlier. I don't recommend installing it on your front fork because of the turning radius issues. If you're on a tight mountain bike trail, that could be an issue that could cause you some problems. Have you guys had any experience with these types of rod holders on a bike? If so, throw the comments down below. We can all share from your experience. Thanks.